Hello everyone and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we're taking a look at Alberto from the Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles line from Playmates Toys. I found this at my local Target today. It was $8.99. Um, and it looked like they had a whole new case of figures out. I didn't even know new figures for this line were out already. I've already collected the first wave, so I'm kind of excited to check out wave two. So this guy's name is Alberto and you can see that uh, it's spelled out bear. There's an A in there that normally wouldn't be in there. Uh, just Alberto or, you know, but he's Alberto. Uh, so it looks like he is some kind of robotic animatronic bear creature. I will be honest. Uh, I have not watched any more of the show since the first episode. I keep meaning to. Uh, but there are just so many other better things to watch. And I just feel like... I want to give it more of a chance, but when you already have kind of a negative impression going into it, it's hard to do so. And also when there's things on television that you know you're going to love, you kind of just gravitate towards more, <laughs> towards them more than you would, uh, you know, something you already have kind of a preconceived notion about. But Playmates has done an excellent job with the toys so far, so I'll probably still keep buying the toys. Uh, I just won't know much about the show going forward in these reviews but that's why they give us these little bio cards so though he was once a singing birthday celebrating animatronic bear alberto turned into a real party animal with razor sharp metallic claws after a mishap with donnie's tech now this maniacal mechanical menace wants to start a robot revolution and no humans are invited so there you pretty much have that so it is it's a like Chuck E. cheese robot gone amok Interesting. Uh, species Demented Robot. That is a species now, apparently. Uh, weapons Metallic Claws. And then it shows you uh, the other figures that are available. They've already gone to the Storage Shell Turtles. Uh, pretty quick on those. I remember back in the original toy line when they first dreamed that up. That the shell would open and the weapons would store inside. That was like amazing. They just did Donatello by itself in the original uh, 80s toy line. Early 90s toy line. And then the other three followed. I guess Donatello was a test. And then eventually, when he did well, they did the other three. But second wave, boom, storage shell turtles. Uh, then you have the regular figures. These are all from the first wave. And then for the villains, uh, this guy, this guy, this guy, all in the first wave. So we have Alberto. And then we have Foot Lieutenant, which I did not see. If I had seen him, I would have picked him up as well. But... He was not available. It was just this guy and all the storage shell turtles. I'm not going to be getting the storage shell turtles. I just personally don't need them. But they are available. So that's going to do it for the packaging for this guy. Let's go ahead and get him out of the box here and we'll take a closer look. So here is the figure out of the packaging real quick. Comes with a slice of pizza. Which is decently painted. I appreciate that it's not just all molded out of one color. I do appreciate that. And then he's got this, like, uh, baton, like a padded bat, or maybe it's a butter churn. I'm not really sure what this is supposed to be. I assume it's a melee weapon of some kind. So we'll put that off to the side for the moment, and we'll take a quick look at the figure. Uh, definitely creepy, if that's what they're going for. They did an excellent job. Uh, especially with the face design, you can see he's got one eye exposed, one robot eye like the Terminator. And then he's got uh, some of his robotic jaw here exposed as well. He's got this, like, the hat. It looks like somebody took a bite out of it. I don't really know what's going on with that. Uh, and then obviously he's got, you know, some parts are still the animatronics. Some parts are the exposed metal. Head can move from side to side normal shoulder joints you have the hinge there as well as the spin you have a very similar joint in the elbow doesn't move very much this way but it can spin from side to side nicely and then the hand moves at the wrist uh, that is the same for both arms the feet are kind of weird he's kind of difficult to get to stand uh, it's really just about finding a good distribution of the weight because the feet are just molded strange. Like, I can't tell if he's supposed to have this foot, like, up on the ball of his toe there or if it's just, I don't know. So basically how this works under here is 
it's a very similar joint to the shoulder. Uh, there's a hinge, and then you can also spin it around. So, again, I'm just not quite sure. I guess, see, there it works, like if he's on the ball of his foot. But then I'm not sure if he's... See, the way... I would think it is because of where the, the hole is positioned. See, this is in the like the the arch of his foot. And this is here up in the toes. So that would lead me to believe that he is supposed to be on the ball of that foot. And then this foot is flat. So then it's just about finding a good distribution of weight. And there we go. So, not terrible with the feet, but weird. This thing can slide into his claw pretty well and then this can can he hold the pizza kinda let's see can this go in here maybe not especially i don't know how he's supposed to hold the pizza maybe like this maybe hold the pizza like that I don't know. <laughs> I'm not really sure what's going on with that. But yeah, it's just it's a weird choice of a weapon. And again, I haven't seen the episode that features this character, so maybe this is something he finds around in his environment. I don't know. But if he's obviously dressed to be like an old timey stereotypical Italian like pizza maker. He's got the bow and he's got the hat and like the big apron smocky thing. Wouldn't you give him like a pizza cutter or like a big um spatula like the wooden spatula that they take the pizzas out of the oven with something like that i just feel like would be more in keeping with the character i mean this is fine just seems this is more like something like an american gladiator would use that's what it reminds me of one of those like big sticks with one on each end when they do the joust if anyone watching this remembers american gladiators at all i should totally bring that show back by the way anyway uh so yeah it's just it's a weird <laughs> it's a weird accessory it works fine he holds it well it's not going to fall out anytime soon. Just a weird choice. But overall, it's a very interesting figure. A lot of character to it. Um, you have the kind of notches out of the ears. You have, of course, the blending of the robotic uh, half with the organic half. Obviously, it's like fake skin or whatever they put over these animals to make them look real. But it's, it's definitely got nice detail. And they didn't cheap out on the paint. I feel like the eyes, the rosy cheeks the skin here uh even the bow down here and even on the accessories they actually did a pretty nice job with the paint so i appreciate that uh definitely feels like this line more so than the previous line is really giving you the paint apps that you need and i appreciate that because that really does add overall to the figure and they're keeping the same price point which is really nice as well great articulation points pretty much everything you'd want um, you know, maybe, I feel like the legs are so small, you don't really need a knee joint, that would be kind of ridiculous at this size. Arms, all the articulation you'd want, head even swivels from side to side. The way it's mounted, there's really no other option for articulation there. You wouldn't need a weird neck or anything like that. So, articulation, I gotta give it definitely uh, top marks. Pain applications as well. Design, it's creepy, but I think that's what they're going for, so they knocked it out of the park on that one as well. Uh, the only thing I really have to complain about is, like I said, I think the weapon accessory is just a weird choice. But like I said, maybe it's something from the episode that I'm just not familiar with. But I would, if I was designing the character, since he looks to be a pizza chef, I would have given him some kind of pizza chef accessory, like I previously mentioned. But other than that, I think it's fun. For $9, I definitely think it's worth picking up. If you're collecting this line, I definitely say uh, have fun. Pick this guy up. He's creepy, but he's neat. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching.